and welcome back. So today is going to be all about the investment pieces that I have purchased that have been 100% worth the splurge. I think you probably know if you've been a long time subscriber of mine that I really try and put a lot of emphasis on buying items that are going to stand the test of time and that I'm going to have for many years to come. And a lot of the things that I'm going to show you today I've had for probably three years or more. So for me, I, I definitely think that that is worth it. Obviously, I'm going back to it year after year and it's clearly a classic staple piece. Um, one thing I will warn you is that there is a lot of black. I realized when I was pulling everything together that there wasn't much color variance, which I think just speaks a lot to the very neutral color palette that my wardrobe is mostly comprised of. Now, the first item that I want to share with you guys is a blazer. Now, I purchased this more than six years ago now was when I was in the US. You guys will have seen this all over my channel because it is a classic. It's such a, you know, one of those staple pieces that I have and it's great for the office. It is this black blazer from Helmut Lang. Now, this is just a single breasted style and it's in a really, really beautiful soft um, crepe material. It's not an overly structured silhouette. It does have a little bit of padding in the shoulders, which I like, but aside from that, it's a very sort of fluid, floaty sort of a design. It is also fully lined, but I just feel like this has been so worth it. I'm pretty sure it cost me around the 600 US dollar mark, which given I bought it when I was 23, that is a lot of money to be spending on a blazer, but it has just been worth it. It still looks absolutely fantastic. Now I'm so happy with it and so glad that I actually went and splurged on this because I've been eyeing it up for more than six months. So yeah, I, I mean, thankfully it still fits me just as well as it did the day that I bought it. But I actually have a second blazer, which I have been wearing a lot recently. And this is obviously more of a new newer addition to my wardrobe. But this one is from Isabel Morant and it's more of a kind of double-breasted style. It actually has a leather strap that you can tie around the waist. I will show cutaways and I have worn this in a blog post so I'll also insert some photos of this but this one is in a lighter linen fabric and I just like the really oversized pockets. I just think it's got some additional details which the Helmet Lang blazer doesn't have so this is nice for when I want to jazz up my outfit a little bit more but I just feel like these have been such great investments in my closet and I know that I'm going to be wearing them for years to come. Next I want to talk about a sweater. <laughs> I've gone on and on and on about this sweater in so many of my videos. is I've done a review on it. It is the cashmere sweater from Everlane. I will link the review up here so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it already. But I adore this. I just think it's such an easy, easy piece for winter. It's also a great layering item. I like the crew neck style. I know that they have changed the design of this slightly so mine is three years old now so obviously it's not going to be exactly the same as the ones they have on the website now but I can really speak to the fact that the quality is excellent it still feels really soft it hasn't really bubbled up I mean obviously you can expect a little bit of that but I use one of those deep pillars and it ended up looking like new but it's just such a great staple to have in my closet and I never tire of this it's just such a simple item but I don't get bored of it at all and there's so many other colors as well so if gray dark gray or black isn't really your jam then you can always get something a little bit more colorful but I do think that a nice sweater is a really good thing to invest in and definitely something that I think you'll end up reaching for for sure during the colder months. On the topic of winter kind of colder months I thought I'd share an accessory and this is a scarf that I've had again also for three years. This is from Acne Studios and it has the little tag here. I actually need to get my dry clean because I've been wearing this every single day this winter. I just think that this is such an incredible scarf. It's lamb's wool. It's really quite thick. It's not scratchy at all. It's kind of like a blanket. I actually take this with me when I'm on the plane and I wear it as a blanket. I just drape it over my shoulders like, like this. I actually do this in the office too if I'm feeling really cold and I don't have a jacket. It's just 
such a great kind of versatile thing to have at your disposal. Now the price of this has gone up since I originally bought it. I'm not sure exactly what the price is now, but I feel like it's over $250. A lot of money to spend on a scarf and I'm not saying you need to spend that much money. Uh, I just think that it's worth investing in a really good one because it will still look really great. I mean, I feel like mine has worn really well. It doesn't look like it's tired or old or that it doesn't have much life left in it. So I know I'm going to be wearing this for the years to come and I'm tempted to kind of look at getting another color but I know that this one is one that I'm going to be able to wear with every single coat or every single outfit so definitely look at getting a very versatile color if you do decide to splurge on one of these. So moving on from winter let's talk about one of my favorite summer investments something I'm so glad that I bit the bullet on it is this silk cami from Everlane. So I have this in three colors. I've got it in the gray and the navy as well, but this is such a lightweight silk cami. It's such a great basic for the summertime, particularly in Sydney. It gets so hot here. It gets up to 40 degrees in the summer and with 100% humidity is ridiculous. So you need things that are really lightweight and really loose and floaty. And this fits the bill. It is something that I wear all the time and Compared to everything else that I'm sort of going to mention throughout this video, this is probably one of the more affordable things that I'm mentioning, but I think, you know, their pricing is pretty great because they do pass on those savings to the consumer, um, if you're familiar with Evelyn. But yeah, I just really like this. It has worn really well. Again, I think I've had this for about three years now, two to three years, something like that. But it's just been a great staple. And again, I will show you guys how this looks on, but it has adjustable straps too. So perfect for those who, you know, want to cover up a little bit more or who like their camis to sit a little bit lower down their chest. But yeah, I just think such a great item, such a great go-to piece to have in your closet. I then might go through the rest of the clothing items and then jump onto the accessories at the very end. But the next thing I wanted to share is a little black dress. So this one is from Dion Lee and you will have seen this and I've put this in lookbooks before. I've also featured it on my blog. I wore this to Luke's brother's wedding in Italy. Uh, it's just the most gorgeous dress. It makes me feel like a million dollars. I love the way this looks on. It was a huge splurge, particularly for a black dress. I'm pretty sure this sent me back about $600 from Dion Lee, um, but I think it was well worth it because I have worn this quite a lot. It's very unassuming. I think given that it's a black dress, it's also not super memorable, unlike something that's really patterned or that has a lot of detail. It's very sleek and simple, so that's one of the things I like about it. I like the fact that it has the low back, but it's just, it's very figure-hugging and I think it's unlike anything else I have, but I love it. And I think a little black dress is such a great thing to invest in in your wardrobe. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on it. I think it's just buying something that is high quality, that will last you a long time, that you can wear for years and years to come. But yeah, so I've had this for about a year now and definitely think it's going to be something that's going to be hanging around in my wardrobe for a long time. The final clothing item is a leather skirt. Now I have this one from Willow. You will have seen this about a million times in all of my different lookbook videos. I feature this quite a lot because I love it. It is, for me, it's one of those cornerstone pieces of my wardrobe, but I just think that these are great to have in your closet. It doesn't matter what style you get. Obviously, I prefer this sort of high-waisted mini A-line style, but you could get a pencil skirt. I used to have this vintage one, actually. I'm pretty sure it only cost me $30, and it was sort of high-waisted. It came a couple inches above the knee. If I can find a photo, I will share it. But I, when I lived in my old apartment in Bondi, that we had issues with the humidity and mold problems and it ended up getting moldy and I had to throw it away, which was really, really quite upsetting. But, <laughs> but I think what that kind of says is you can buy something really great that's secondhand or vintage. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I just think that it's worth investing in something that is high quality and well made. So this one in particular is from Willow. It is really, really thick leather. It has a lot of structure to it. I actually have a second version, which is a lot softer, um, but I really like the way that this looks and the way that it holds its shape while I'm wearing it. So yeah, this has just been one that I'm so, so grateful that I kind of came across it on eBay because I did buy this one secondhand. And then on to accessories, and this is really the only colorful item that I have to share in this video, but it's a pair of statement shoes. And mine are these ones here from Givenchy. So 
I think I've told you guys the story about these before, but I bought these when we were up in Waipu, which is north of Auckland. Um, the first summer that I ever spent with Luke, they had basically zero reception there, and I used his brother's uh, girlfriend, now wife's, uh, cell phone to go on the top of this hill which had barely any reception to buy these from Netta Porter because they were 70% off. Um, <laughs> I am still wearing them now, I've had them six years, still wearing them, I still love them. They're still one of my favourite shoes for when I want to make a statement or when I'm wearing something really simple and want to jazz it up a little bit. I've worn these to work, surprisingly, especially when I worked um, in, in government. Um, and I've worn them to parties, I've just worn them casually I love the way that these make an outfit look so I think that just I mean I've worn these so many times um, they still look really great they're still in very very good condition they've held up very well I think I think the fact that they have these little metal tips on the bottom has helped with the wear on the toes as well because they are a pointed toe but I do think yeah it can be worth investing in a really nice shoe like this that you're going to reach for and that's also going to give you you know those warm and fuzzies inside because whenever I think of these shoes they always make me smile and just fill me with warmth and happiness so yeah good pair of statement shoes for sure. Then the last item I wanted to mention is a nice handbag. Now the I've got two that I'm going to share. Um, the first one is my Prenza Schooler PS11 satchel. I bought this when I was in New York and I am still wearing it today. This was six years ago so I'm still wearing it today. It definitely isn't in the same condition as when I bought it. It's had its fair share of wear and tear but it's held up really well and I think that kind of just speaks to the quality of it and the craftsmanship. I do think it is worth spending a little bit more money on a handbag, particularly one that you're going to have for a long time. So that's that one. I actually wanted to share another one which just goes to show that you don't have to buy a designer handbag and that's this tote bag from Linnea. So um, I really really like this. I've done a full review on it if you want I'll put it up here so you guys can watch. This bag has a much lower price point than the Prenza Schooler bag, but I think that the craftsmanship on this is equally as good. I think it's held its shape really well. It's still got a bit of structure to it, even though the leather has softened up. I haven't got any marking on the interior, which is a fabric lining, but yeah. So I think just investing in a really good bag that is going to wear well is highly worth it rather than buying sort of a really cheap bag that you're going to have to replace in a year's time. So those are all my investment pieces that I have found to be really worthwhile purchases. I'd love to know if you guys would want to see a video on sort of items that are worth investing in and items that aren't. I guess this sort of covers a little bit of that off, but if you would want to see something like that in future, do let me know in the comments below. I would love to know if you have any investment pieces, particularly surprising ones like my Givenchy heels that turned out to be an incredible wardrobe staple, something that you ended up wearing all the time even though you didn't think you would. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. See you guys next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!